Hi, you chillings. Can you see me? A bit awkward, I'm on the floor. I just want to talk to you. I'll sit there. I want to talk to you about spray mats. We're spraying. Um, big part of our job, spraying and obviously health and safety, um, to make sure that you're um, not breathing in paint fumes. Um, obviously, the bits of paint that's the overspray. What I use, I think you can see it, it's one of the Sunstrom spray masks. Yeah. Well, I'm lying down now, it's like Roman times. Sunstrom spray mask, the, um, what is it, the um, SR30, I believe? I'm not too sure. Doesn't matter. Right, it's one of these, it's a silicone mask. Feels really nice when you wear it. You've got, got some new filters, so I'm going to put them on and show you what it is. What you've got, you've got the front part is your pre filter. Now, when you buy it, can you see me? When you buy it, you've got a bit of a rubber gasket on it. <sighs> Blow that off. That is where you use um, that to seal it to do a face fit test. So you put that on. When you try it all on, you put it against me. And if you can breathe in and it sucks and sticks to your face, that's what you want. When you breathe out, you'll hear the valves um, pushing the air out. Can you hear this? I can't breathe in, but I can breathe out. So you take that off, and on the front of there, yeah, pack of pre-filters, and a pre-filter goes on the front of that, and then you snap that back in place. But today I want to show you what I'm going to do. I've had these filters on the front, there's a particle filter there, and then I've got a, I think you call it a biological filter, what's it called, gas filter. Yeah, it says gas filter. Now that takes out all your smells. So actually when I'm using that, it feels like I'm breathing in fresh air. It's a lot better than breathing in all the fumes of the paint. So these have been on two years. Obviously every job, the pre-filter gets changed. But if I say these have been on two years, don't forget 2020, I've done very little spraying because of lockdown and obviously not having the work um, amount to be doing. So they've had quite a bit of use. Um, if you can just see in there, it's a little bit of particles all built up. So we're gonna swap that. Now, what I'm gonna do, that can be washed because it's silicone. I have some cheap baby wipes from Lidl or Aldi, a pack of baby wipes, well, they 50p, take one out. Clean around your mask. You can obviously put it in the sink, but clean around your mask so it's clean against your face. You can do that every time. Obviously not ideal to be swapping it between work colleagues because you have your own mask. I've got my own mask. I've got my own storage box for when I'm not using it. So clean that all up. Make sure it's nice for fitting against my face. It smells beautiful. Clean it all up, and what I'm going to do, the first one that goes on, I'm going to open it. I can't open it, I'm going to get a blade. I'm back, I've got a Stanley blade. Offler, Olaf, whatever they're called. So, open that. Get it all out. Some of the instructions. Right, you can just, I'll get down close so you can see it. It says gas filter. This is what, these are the ones that I had when I was at college, at Baseball College in Nottingham, uh, back in the early 90s. Um, did the advanced sitting gills in painting and decorating in around about 93 straight, 94. That's when you did uh, touched on spray painting. And um, the masks that they had at college were also the same masks that I was very impressed with. And I've stuck with the same setup. You get these from places like Arco Safety Products. So the gas filter goes onto the mask first. So we just clip it in because it's just a rubber seal. It goes all the way around. Have I got it the right way? I'm going to check. Yes, I've got it the right way. So that goes on first. The arrows point to the direction that the mask needs to be fitted. So I was right. If in doubt, check and look. So we're doing that. 
the next ones this is the white one this is replacing that this is replacing that that's the particle filter and that just snaps onto the front Can you hear it snapped onto the front that is now a new mass setup pre-filter goes on the front it's easier just to put it into the mesh at the front put it on and then snap it in place try it up against your face yeah lovely I'm not breathing in any air around the seal because this is a medium to large and with my big mouth and face that just fits nicely you can hear it so that actually fits beauty with this mask is it's very supportive that goes at the back of your neck and then this fits on the top of your head on the top of your head so it's really secure can you see I'll take it off for now because we're finished um, yeah highly recommend it if you're in doubt about what mask to um, use for spraying always leave a comment give me a message obviously like a thumbs up and subscribe and press the bell but I can highly recommend that mask I've had this mask for as I say nearly 30 years probably around about 92 it's been cleaned it's been washed over the years I've obviously swapped these and as I said earlier the pre-filters get swapped every time I do a new job um, a new day new job because they do get um, bits in them dust dust over spray but yes highly recommend and this is what I use for spraying that can be with HVLP it can be with my conventional sprayer or it can be with the airless spray sprayers that we've got but for now yeah I'm gonna say over and out thank you for listening that very good mask and I can recommend it others will prefer others with the filters either side but I like the one where it's got everything on the front and you can actually if you go into somewhere like Arco if you're spraying different products they can recommend different filters that suit the paints and the solvents um, that's probably in the paint that you might need to have um, protection against but again health and safety you're wearing a mask and it's good to have a really decent one we don't want any paper filter masks when we spray we want a decent mask so thank you for listening and i'll see you on the next video